costume that is used in this video I bought prior to, you know, everything coming out, so I have not bought anything that would support her, or put any money towards her. Uh, I used to be a huge Harry Potter fan, which is why I have so much stuff, but then, like, a little bit before all the stuff came out about her, I got, like, the ick of Harry Potter, and I just wanted nothing to do with it, and then everything came out, and I was like, well, so, yeah, I'm actually going to be selling a lot of the things you might see in this video. And some other Harry Potter stuff, so <laughs> hit me up if you want some. I still enjoy the movies because I managed to watch them not too long ago and like bring myself to watch them and I did enjoy them. Um, because you can kind of see them as a separate entity to the to the books, but the books aren't actually that good. I'm sorry, she's just not a great writer. So I never actually got around to reading them all. But on a lighter note, this role play probably won't make much sense if you haven't watched a Harry Potter musical and a Harry Potter sequel because I will be sort of mixing um, canon Draco with Starkid Draco um, so first of all if you haven't watched that go see it it's amazing it's got Darren Chris's Harry Potter and they're just beautiful um, but yeah if you haven't seen it it probably won't make much sense because <laughs> I will be talking about some Starkid stuff but um, I hope you enjoy it anyway What are you staring at? Oh. You're a first year. Well, it's a good job you bumped into me. Did I see you talking to a Gryffindor? It's fine. Just thought you might like sticking to a higher calibre of student, that's all. Slytherin is the best. Pure-blooded. Not full of snivelling half-breeds and mudbloods who can barely even find their ones, let alone use them. Yeah, I just got back from Quidditch practice. I'm a seeker. Yes, Harry Potter was the youngest seeker. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Our ones are the best. Nimbus 2001s. My father paid for them. Does your father have money? Hmm. Got a lot to learn. Come on, I'll take you to the library. You're awfully small. Never mind. This is the library. We've got to be quiet in here, or Madame Pince will have our heads. Soon, I'll be transferred to pig farts. You don't know what pig farts is? <sighs> Let's just say, pig farts, pig farts, yum, yum, yum. Pig farts, pig farts, here I go. Yes, be quiet. Ask me.
Slytherin, an introduction. Or perhaps in Slytherin you'll make real friends, those cunning folk who use any means to achieve their ends. Quite right, one of the rare occasions that I agree with the sorting out. It's daft, it's a piece of old cloth that doesn't know what it's talking about, but it is right about us. We're the best, that's basically what it's saying. Welcome to the most ambitious house at Hogwarts. Slytherins are proud to come from a line of respected and sometimes fe feared wizards who strive always to win and be the best. Damn right. Look, I have to be really quiet, okay? So I've gotta, gotta come close. Well, I don't wanna be any more ugly face anyway. God, do you even wash? Bloody hell. <laughs> Founding wizard Salazar Slytherin looked for great cunning in his students and favoured wizards of pure blood. The controversial preference that caused strife between himself and the other founders early in the school's history, blah, blah, blah. Oh, God. Slytherin is a house that helps its students fulfil their potential for greatness. Because of the value members of Slytherin place on ambition, many go on to seek power and influence. It is their fiercely competitive nature that gave them the drive to win the House Cup six years in a row. But Potter couldn't do that. A winning streak that was only broken by their arch rivals Gryffindor in Harry Potter's first year at Hogwarts. Yes, well, that's one year, isn't it? That's 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 one year. We had six. We had six. Did, did you hear that we had six? <sighs> Slytherin House has officially become. Has, Slytherin House has historically been home to those attracted to the dark arts. Indeed, the most infamous dark wizard of all time, Lord Voldemort was sorted into Slytherin in his first year when he was known as Tom Riddle. The qualities associated with Slytherins are often seen as negative traits. However, their cunning can be more charitably interpreted as shrewdness, their pride and ambition as a healthy expression of self-esteem. Merlin, one of the most revered wizards of all time, hails from Slytherin. Yeah, Potter. <laughs> you think you can be Merlin? Yeah, you think you know better than Merlin?
pretty dope. Come on, take me to your common room and I'll, uh, I'll show you the best hiding spots. My bed was far nicer in first year. On pig farts, we sleep in zero gravity chambers and our pajamas are spacesuits. You know who I'd fire into space? That Hermione Granger. Stay clear of her. She thinks she's so clever and pretty. But if I had to rate her on a scale from 1 to 10, 10 being really pretty, I would give her an 8. No. A 9. No more than a 9.8. What? I don't like her. Shut up. Slytherin. Ambition. Pride. And cunning. Three of my best qualities, I think. This is our wand. This is a mighty Granger's wand. Where did you find this? You cannot take another wizard or witch's wand. I'll have to give it back to her. Shame. Well, you know, I don't... She might not miss it. I suppose I could keep it for a little while longer. Many things you can do with a wand. <clears throat> um, you know what? I am going to draw her a picture. I'm an excellent drawer, but you can't draw. That's it. I'll draw her a picture, explaining everything that happened, and then she won't feel confused. Green for Slytherin, of course. I'm going to draw her there. Where's very frumpy clothes? Mm. And then I'm going to draw me, giving her the wand. And then she'll see it and she'll think, Oh, Draco, this was meant to happen. And the wand, giving her my wand. you couldn't do that. Pay close attention to the shading on my sweater. Gosh, I didn't realise how late it was. I have to give it back to her in the morning. Well, you can't. Too late. You're not allowed out this late. Just go to the common room. <sighs> Do you know what this is? This is how I get around the castle unseen. I stole it from Potter. Dwee probably doesn't even know it's missing. He couldn't find his own backside most of the time. It shows where everyone is at all times. I 
that as well. You get a wand, your wand preferably, and you say, I solemnly swear that I am up to no good. And then it opens. Of course, it's already done because I was using it earlier for no reason at all. Everyone and everywhere. You could uh, see where Hermione Granger is on. Uh, in her room, of course. Ah, see. Just as I thought, there's perfect Harry Potter. Probably crying under the covers or looking at the mirror at his perfect face. His beautiful, flawless face. His little round glasses and a cute scar. What? No, I said stupid face and ugly scar. You really need to get your hearing checked. I'll take you to Madame Pomfrey in the morning. Anyway, it's late. I've got things to do. Never you mind what. If you must know, I'm off to change my diaper. All respectable wizards wear diapers. Okay. Oh, you would be lost without me, you poor, poor soul. If you show promise... I'll see about getting you transferred to pig farts too. It's on Mars. And the head teacher, Rumble Roar, is a lion. And if you're good, he lets you ride around on his back. Yeah, keep the map for now. But if you tell another soul, I will make your life a living hell. Got it? The reign of Malfoy is drawing near and it's gonna be totally awesome. Don't tell anyone I was here, okay? I'll tell you a secret. <sighs> now, I'm not officially part of the Death Eaters, but I'm sure this homemade dark mark will convince them. Uh, Huh? <sighs>